Hey what is up everyone, welcome back with another video. So in this video I brought to you an alternative for the best editor out there, which is Kind Master. You probably know Kind Master if you tried it before, it has a paid subscription and you have to pay for uh, annual like uh, year subscription and three month subscription or whatever. But now I found an alternative which is completely free and it is the best alternative out there. It got all the amazing features. As I see the app name video lip and uh, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. But uh, it has all the great functionality of Cam Master uh, which is the chroma key and uh, frame by frame editing. Also the layers that you want to add. Also that cutting all of the amazing great features, the transitions, uh, you name them, uh, all of that here free completely. Now let's try to edit this project that we added uh, now and I'm gonna show you and walk through all of the great feature of this app. Now the first one is simple, you can add the text that you want but I'm gonna go to the great stuff in just a second. Now let's try to type whatever text that we want so let me give you a great example of uh, Kind Master and their alternatives. Uh, this video that you are watching is edited on Kind Master. So to keep that in mind, it is one of the best editor out there. Now as you can see, I'm gonna split and remove the uh, excess text that I wanted uh, to remove. And then you can choose if you want to increase it or decrease it. Uh, whatever uh, the length uh, that you want to choose now we're gonna do uh, the transition like if you want it to appear from the top and uh, whatever the transition that you see here in overall and out this is the animation that the text will show in for example we choose in animation so we're gonna uh, we're gonna hit on the slide from the left as you can see it's going to appear from the left. Let me just repeat that in a second. And you're going to see it appearing from the left just right now. Now uh, you can also edit the overall animation. We're going to do that in a second. We're going to tap on the middle one now. And we choose uh, floating for example. And we're going to increase the floating time. You can choose that for also the in and out animation, you can reduce the time if you want. Uh, I'm gonna explain that uh, a little bit faster so I can get to all the great feature of this app. Now let's try to reduce the time and see how the floating will got uh, will get speed will <laughs> will get speed boosted. So after we done that, we're gonna hit uh, done. We can also choose whatever place that we want to put the text. So after we done that, we're gonna go ahead and try different thing. Let's say the video itself. You're gonna see here uh, if you scroll and split and then scroll away here again and hit split again. And you're gonna have this, which is uh, the cut part that you wanna edit. Uh, you can move it whatever you want by holding it. Also, you can delete it by holding it and swiping it down. Now we're going to add the transitions. Uh, all of these transitions are free, except uh, the one that it said the pro version. So if it says the pro version, you want to avoid that. Uh, <laughs> I did the pro version here, which it says try if you want, but you won't be able, as you can see, at the top right it says only for the pro version uh, so you cannot export the file once you edit it completely as you can see the transition I didn't like it so I'm gonna change it to uh, another one now after I done that you can uh, choose also the voiceover if you want and all of that amazing feature uh, as I'm doing right now, I'm editing with a voiceover and uh, you can hold the voice that you edited and you can reduce it or play with it whatever you want.
So, you know, you can adjust whatever uh, the voice setting that you want. So, example, equalizer here. Uh, you can choose also the fade in and the fade out. For example, once the voice gets at the end, uh, you want it to fade out. You can also reduce the volume of that voice if you want. So, after that, you have a lot of great uh, functionalities like for example if you type on this you're gonna see the project and if you're gonna type on the second one here which it will show you all the great feature of the app for example as simple as editing and trimming and it goes uh, harder professional advance whatever you can call it the transition you can play with the shake of the text as you can see you can play with animation of the text where do you want it to appear at a certain frame so this is also can be done you can see here green screen also can be done with this app for free uh, which is amazing you can also mix a video which uh, which is doesn't uh, which is not a feature of Kime Master you can also do a mask if you want with the text uh, you, as you can see this is the green screen if you want it you can add a video layer also completely free uh, you can also add photos video layers whatever the number that you want now let's talk about the feature that you are all asking for which is editing frame by frame as many of you guys know that kind master has the greatest editing frame by frame feature if of them all I'm talking uh, comparing it also to the Luma Fusion as you can see you can edit uh, frame by frame so I'm gonna choose the second frame to be uh, in this position and the third frame to be in that position and also swiping just here and it will automatically add the frame that you want now also I want the fifth in that position and that position you can choose whatever you got the idea uh, you also have you can apply this uh, editing frame by frame to a layer or a video so that's a great functionality that professional editor use in this app uh, we are not talking about uh, the normal cutting uh, features uh, like many of the other apps uh, provide we are talking about professional editing so as you can see when we try to export the file it says that we used a pro transition so we're gonna go ahead and remove that because it's even not worth it it's uh, not good transition so we're gonna use uh, the normal free versions of the transitions that we got already with this app and we are good to go uh, all of that great feature uh, like trans, uh, like uh, frame by frame and uh, layers that you add and all of that good stuff is completely free so keep that in mind as you can see uh, the pro version uh, disappeared from here so you need to keep in mind there is no watermark in this video editor so after you complete and export the file you are not gonna be bothered with that kind master at the top right of the video or whatever uh, other editor uses as you can see you can pay for the pro version to get all the access all the transition that you want but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna use the free version you can pay if you want uh, all the great feature that this app provides so let me just now explain how you can add a layer now if we added a project as you can see here we're going to hold it and swipe it up and it will automatically be as a layer as you saw right here. Now you can adjust uh, the length of the layer if you want. You can reduce it and also you can change the position of the layer and also you can edit it frame by frame. So for example, you want it to appear in certain frame in uh, a certain place and also uh, other frame in certain place, uh, which is amazing now let me show you how you can add a video layer now we're gonna tap on the uh, add section right here 
and we're gonna add the video that we want as a layer so for example this one it will add it first as a project now we're gonna uh, swipe it up and add it as a layer as you saw here now we can change the position of the layer to whatever place that we want also we can adjust the frame of this uh, video you can see here you can add also the green screen that you want we are talking here about a professional editing guys so this features you will find it at uh, Final Cut Pro or uh, Adobe Premiere as you can see you can edit up to 4k you can also edit uh, the frames up to 60 frames per second and you can export your file without a problem and all of that good stuff so i hope you enjoyed it see you in another one and peace